what according to you would be five non negotiable habits or behaviors that you know we should strive to inculcate to stay grounded and to stay focused in this time of uncertainty i think you know one is nourishing our bodies eating yeah. as healthy as we can as good of quality food and making sure that we are i mean it sounds stupid but eating fresh if we can fruits and vegetables and making sure that we're drinking enough water, just nourishing the cells of our bodies. That's number one. Number two, before we go to sleep, having a prayer or chant, whatever, to say, I'm letting go of everything that happened today. And thank you. You know, I have a prayer every morning. I'm Jewish. And there's a prayer basically thanking God for restoring my soul to my body. And the other one that I love is having my bowels work. Like it's thank you God for having a good bowel movement. I'm like, I love the Jews. We appreciate God for bowel movements. But you know, before I go to bed too, there there's prayers to say to to kind of cut the energetic cord with anyone you've come in contact with, to bless them, to let things go. Good night's sleep, quality sleep. You know, if you need to and number three, stop watching the news. Oh, get God. off social media. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I've just stopped. I can't, I, you know, I, I consume it when I want. So I have mm. apps on my phone where I will choose consciously when I'm going to watch something, even, you know, with the whole George Floyd murder that happened in the U S I tried yes. the first day to watch the trial. I had to turn it off because energetically I could feel it just messing with my system. So, uh, nourish your body, sleep, uh, limit, social media, meditate, mm. even five minutes a day, you know, of box breathing, five inhales, hold it for five, five counts out. That's going to reduce your stress and your cortisol level. And number yeah. five, play. Yeah. Do something to play, whether it's dancing around to some music or running outside in bare feet, if you can, or listening, you know, being, if you're on a phone call, stop with a zoom and be on a phone call with somebody and recite some poetry, paint, do art, just play. Because I think that's been the key thing right now is we, we are so serious and we have to be about what's going on. We forget to play and that's going to be key.